there's many challenges down the road when I was starting off as being a barber and starting off as actually taking it serious. One was understanding that this is a passion driven industry. This is an industry of you must be a doer. I mean, it is like labor induced in, in a way where you will only reap the rewards of how hard you actually work in the industry, right? So a few of the things I had to deal with, with was understanding how to balance, uh, you know, work and pleasure, especially growing up in this. Cause like, again, I've been doing this since I was a, a kid. I was only 13 years old when I first started doing this. And I've, I've been in love with it since, since then. And how do I transition that into my growth as, a, as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an adult? How do I transition that to say, okay, I like cutting hair, but how can I put value in saying, okay, this is my job though. Because there's so many of us in, when it comes to a passion driven industry where even like art, right? Like you just naturally want to do it, but you got to find a way to take what is your passion and what is your art and how, you, how do you transition that into a business, right? And or, or how you could say like, you know, I could do this effortlessly so I don't have to do it all the time or I don't have to do it as much. But if you choose to take it as your job, it's not a hobby no more. You have to find a way to, to make a schedule, how to prioritize your own finances, how, how you could now, okay. I moved out when, right when I graduated, graduated high school, I wasn't even 18. And I made that decision to say, hey, I'm gonna move out right when I graduate high school. And I remember even when I was working that, that sales job, I was still cutting hair in the kitchen of the place I was living in, right? And till now, those struggles have led me to where I am, where I, I was able to use barbering to build up callus. It, it was able to help me, you know, break, break a few bad habits and also gain a lot of good um, life lessons along the way through something where it, it is not just a basic nine to five. Like when you choose to do something as, like, as an entrepreneur, which most of us barbers aspire to be, when you decide to give up that nine to five, that guaranteed check, you know, like everything's you, you clock in, clock out, because there's a schedule, yada, yada, yada. When you're a barber and you choose to get, give up all of that, you don't do a nine to five, you start at 24 seven. Like this is every day, day in and day out. They don't call it barber life for nothing. You know, it's not barber job, it's barber life. And I don't mean that by like, oh, all I do every day is cut hair. No, my life has to be surrounded by this craft that I chose to make me function, make me live, make sure I take care of the ones I love, make sure that I'm able to knock down the goals I have in life, you know? And, you know, barbers come from a time where um, we, we don't get a 401k unless we choose to get a 401k. We don't, if my hands were to get chopped off right now, what am I gonna do? How, what do I think of it? plan A, plan B, plan C? I gotta think of that, right? So I gotta step my game up every single time and work through these struggles to lead to where I'm at now. And yeah, 16 years in the game, to some people that's a long time in, in, in a career, but I see it as like, I'm just getting started. Like there's people that I've met and that's truly inspiring that's been doing it for 25 plus years. And it's, it's just a blessing to, to see where this industry is going. And to be at the forefront of it all is uh, super exciting. And not, not one day goes by where I'm like, yeah, um, I'm, I'm sluggish, I don't, I don't wanna do this. The moment I feel that, then I know maybe I gotta go do something else, but I don't see that happening anytime soon.